19 and a half feet. And Poulter buries it, of course he does! Started from the bottom, now we're here. How about this for some Monday motivation? Ian Poulter was tied for 123rd after his first round. Now he's a PGA Tour winner for the first time since 2012, and he's teeing it up at the Masters this week. If that's not good, bad, and unusual in a nutshell, I don't know what is. I'm Emily Tillo, filling in for Taryn Schaefer. Poulter coming through in the clutch city. The 42-year-old vet defeated 23-year-old rookie Bo Hostler at the Houston Open on Sunday. Unfortunately, Hostler found the beach and the water on the first playoff hole, leaving the door wide open for the match play king. But the Texas Longhorn proved that his trip to the winner's circle is right around the corner with shots like this. Oh yeah, excellent shot right underneath the hole. There's not much break in that putt either. Speaking of throwing darts, Grayson Murray sure knows how to hit the bullseye. Wow, that was Shane Lowry's ball that Grayson Murray hit. While Greg Chalmers is more of a backboard kind of guy. Listen up here, uh -oh. Mark, listen up. Oh. <laughs> and watch where it ends up. <laughs> Who never says there's a little bit of luck involved it in this ended game? Up. And Julian Surrey, well, let's just call him the comeback kid. He won the Monday qualifier to get into the field and ended up finishing T8. A top 10 here would get him into the Valero Texas Open. Long shot? I don't think so. If you thought that was a roller coaster ride, just ask Phil. Maybe not as notorious as Duff or Jordan Spieth rolling into Masters Week like. Well, is that a good way to go down Magnolia Lane again or what? Be sure to put your favorite green jacket on this week and tune into The Takeaway with Taryn on Thursday. Happy Masters Monday.